Yellowstone National Park's first salmon fly hatch comes off uh, in Firehole Canyon. Um, and it's interesting here because this hatch begins in Firehole Canyon and works downstream, down into the Madison River system in Yellowstone Park. It'll start about when the season opens, about the 25th to the 30th of uh, May, and for the next 10 days to two weeks, work downstream into the Madison River system downstream towards the town of West Yellowstone. These guys live underwater as nymphs for three or four years, then they emerge, turn into winged adults like this specimen here. They'll do a little mating here. This is a gravid female. I don't know if you can see the egg sac on the rear of it, that black egg sac. She'll probably fly out over the river later today and deposit those eggs back in the river to start the life cycle again. As you can see, they make a nice juicy meal for any trout. Oh yeah, here's a couple nymphs. Which you'll see here. See, they're just getting ready to emerge. Notice this one here, kind of a light orangish color. Its belly is bright orange around its gills and they are, notice the size of them, they are ready to hatch. Because of the thermal influence, of uh, the geysers in, in uh, Yellowstone, particularly on the Firehole River. This brings on the salmon fly hatch in the uppermost reaches of the river um, rather than the lower. In other words, on the Madison River downstream of Earthquake Lake, that hatch starts downstream and works upstream daily. It just vice versa in Yellowstone National Park, and you have to be aware of that to fish the head of the hatch. Some of the best activity that, that you them. can fish during salmon fly time is in Firehole River itself in the park. Uh, the Firehole Canyon is a tremendously prolific little canyon stretch of water, about a mile of water, very short but very, very productive. You'll catch a lot of fish, most of which are fairly small, 10 to 14 inches. Whereas the Madison River in Yellowstone Park, that hatch, when it starts uh, reaching Madison Junction, um, at, at the confluence of the fire hole and working downstream, those fish there you can generally count on to be quite a bit larger. They may average 16, 17 inches. Again, they're holdover fish upstream from the Hepkin Reservoir. <laughs>